Hi everyone, today is Endangered Species Day. We have quite a few endangered species here at the Pittsburgh Zoo, including Armier tigers, Armier leopards, black rhinos, and these animals right over here, the lowland gorillas. Today we're going to be talking with our primary gorilla keeper, Amanda, about just how amazing these wonderful gorillas are. Amanda, how are you today? I'm wonderful. Ready to answer some questions about gorillas? Absolutely. Okay, where can gorillas be found in the wild? So there are four different subspecies, and all of them can be found in Africa around the Congo area. What do they eat? They're mostly fruit and vegetable eaters, with some eating uh, ants and other insects, but they're the only primate species that does not eat meat. So with that being said, what do they eat here at the zoo? So we give them over 150 pounds a day of romaine, endive, celery, all kinds of fruits and vegetables from apples, oranges, kiwi, banana. They also get a special biscuit that has all the vitamins they can possibly eat. Tell us about the troop we have here at the zoo. Who's right behind us right now? So right here we have Edu. She's actually our oldest member of the troop. She is 31 years old. She came to us from the Cincinnati Zoo uh, with another male gorilla, Harry. Uh, and then all the way on the far side, we have Mauricio. He's the one looking in the door. He's our lead silverback of our troop. He's going to be 30 years old. Oh, look at him. Big birthday coming yep. up. <laughs> and then we also have Frankie who's running around back there as well, right? Yes. He's our He's four? Just about He's to turn just three? about to turn four on until okay. 20 minutes. Unbelievable. So what are some of the enrichment activities we do here for our group? So some of them are right here. Uh, so I scattered some of their diet, so they had to forage for some of their remains. And I also added uh, some of their green beans and something they don't often get is oatmeal. So oatmeal is nice. They have to forage for that. It uses the dexterity of their fingers, uh, and they really like it. <laughs> What are some things you want our social media followers to know about the gorillas? So gorillas are all in danger. With Western Lowland gorillas, which is what we here have at the zoo, with about 300,000 left in the wild. Where do we usually want that number to see comparison? We want the number to be higher, so there's a greater area that the different troops of gorillas can spread out. So what's happening now is there's too many encroachment and deforestation that's causing most of them to become smaller groups, and then we're going to get pockets of individual species that aren't going to be able to find each other, and we're not going to have a good chance. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us about gorillas today and educating us about how awesome these animals are. Well, my pleasure. Now, if you want to help endanger species around the planet, you can start by sharing the message of global conservation. Now, we have some big news coming to the Pittsburgh Zoo later this summer. It's an all-new interactive experience, Gorilla Trek Virtual Reality. It's coming to the zoo a little bit later on this summer. You'll have a chance to actually know what it's like to be around a gorilla, so keep an eye out for more details. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time at the zoo.